Hi friends, today I am going to discuss about the inflation part 2. In inflation part 1 discussed about what is inflation, types of inflation and causes of inflation. If you have not watched the part 1 video, please watch it. In this session, we are going to discuss about how to measure the inflation, what indices we are going to use. First measurement of inflation by using the following indices. Producer price index, wholesale price index, consumer price index, housing price index, service price index. Coming to PPA, producer price index. It measures the price change from the perspective of the producer or seller. The producer price index is an index used to calculate the movement of price from the seller's point of view. It is the first level of transaction, hence it measures price pressures due to increase in cost of raw materials. In producer price index, there is no involvement of taxes, trade margins and transport cost. Those are excluded. PPA is useful in having an idea of consumer prices in the future. Present in our country, we are not using the PPA. See, this index is considered a better measure of inflation as price changes at primary and intermediate stages can be tracked before it gets built into the finished goods stage. The PPA measures price changes from the perspective of the producer. Next, Wholesale Price Index, WPA. It measures the changes in the price of basket of goods at wholesale level. It measures the price change from the perspective of the wholesaler. Excluded from the WPA, Indirect Taxes, Next Output of Unorganized Sector Services. These are excluded from the WPA. Coming to indirect taxes, WPA does not include taxes in order to remove impact of fiscal policy. This makes it a more accurate measurement. Next, it excluded output of unorganized sector. What is unorganized sector? Unorganized sector is the sector which is generally not governed by the rules and regulations that are laid down by the government regarding the condition of employment. It not includes provident fund, paid leaves, holiday benefit and medical benefits are given to the employees. Next, services. Services, uh, services excluded from the WPA. Services are not traded in the wholesale markets. So, WPA data does not include the inflation due to services. But CPA includes goods and services. When goods are imported in India, first they move to the wholesale mandis and then they come in the retail markets. So, wholesale prices and retail prices both get impacted because of imported goods. WPA is released by Office of Economic Advisor, Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade and Ministry of Commerce and Industry. Its base year has been revised to 2011 to 2012 and it includes 697 items. It covers the primary articles like agricultural commodities and minerals. Its weight 22.62% and next fuel and power like coal and electricity. Its weight 13.15%. Next manufactured products like textiles, leather, machine tools. Its weight 64.23%. Next merits of WPA. What are the merits of WPA? Broad coverage more than 600 plus items available every month. It is pan India coverage. Indirect taxes excluded, hence reflects true price lines. Next, separate treatment for seasonal items. Okay. These are the merits of WPA. Next, coming to demerits of WPA. What are the demerits of WPA? It is not the actual price. Excluded the services which contributes more than 50% of our GDP. Excluded unorganized sector. It excluded the construction. The WPA gives less weightage for the food and fuel. It's about wholesale price index. Next, coming to consumer price index. It is the prices paid by the consumer in the retail market. It measures the price change from the perspective of the consumer. CPA is a price index that measures the average price of a basket of items over a given period of time. Next, World Consumer Price Indexes. Consumer Price Index for Industrial Worker. This index measures the change in the price of commodity basket consumed by the industrial workers. 
it also includes services and is measured on the basis of retail prices and is used to determine the dns allowances of employees in both the public and private sectors it is the appropriate indicator of general inflation compared to the wpa cpa iw that means consumer price index in industrial worker inflation has been stable and moderate this is because food items have higher weights in cpa iw than in wpa for example medical care education transport and communication personal care and efforts domestic services and so on quiz authority for compilation and release labor bureau ministry of labor base year for cpa is 2012 next consumer price index for urban non manual employees this price index has limited use basically used for determining the dns allowances of employees of foreign company operating in india example airlines communications banking insurance and other financial services it is used under the income tax act to determine the capital gains who is authority for compilation and release central statistical organization ministry of statistics and program implementation next consumer price index for rural laborers and agriculture laborers it measures the change in the price of commodity basket consumed by rural laborers like agricultural laborers and cottage industries cpa al is subset of cpa rl it is basically used for revising minimum wages for agricultural labor in different states who is authority for compilation and release both indices labor bureau ministry of labor these are the old consumer price indices next coming to new consumer price indices cpa rural cpa urban cpa combined cpa combined is the cpa rural plus cpa urban this indices is published per all india as well as state or ut level union, ter- union territory level these indices are related with one month time lag the cpa combined is computed by combining rural and urban index the cpa includes necessities such as food clothing housing and includes services like medical care transportation and education cpa measures price fluctuations at consumer level the monetary policy committee required to keep the cpa combined in the range of 2% to 6% that is 4% plus or minus 2% as a result the cpa is used to target inflation the cpa is used by the rbi for inflation targeting and decides its monetary policy who is authority and compilation national statistical organization nso under the ministry of statistics and program implementation its base year is 2012 after the housing price index service price index i will discuss about the inflation targeting and challenges for inflation targeting coming to housing price index housing price index aims to increase transparency in the indian real estate market and build trust among stakeholders housing price index determine the growth of the construction sector when the price of your house rises above the cost of construction the value of the house also rises relative relative to the cost of construction the housing price index is a quarterly report by the reserve bank of india the base year per calculation of hpe is 2012 to 2013 data collected from a few cities like 50 cities next service price index it is the index to inflationary pressure caused by cost of services it is calculated or published by office of economic advisor under the department of ministry of commerce and industry these are sector based calculated for example banking sector insurance sector railways telecom postal and so on cpa includes only partial services hence the need for spa is more next inflation targeting next coming to inflation targeting the prime objective of monetary policy committee is price stability that is controlling inflation by keeping in mind the objective of economic growth 
द टारगेट ऑफ इनफ्लेशन फिक्सड बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इन कंसल्टेशन विद आरबीआई अकॉर्डिंगली गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया फिक्सड सीपीए इनफ्लेशन टारगेट एट 4% विद अपर एंड लोअर टॉलरेंस लिमिट ऑफ 2% दैट दैट इज 4% प्लस और माइनस 2% नेक्स्ट व्हाट आर द चैलेंजेस फॉर इनफ्लेशन टारगेटिंग price targeting that is reduce the money supply have a inherent negatives for example reduce expenditure and social welfare in order to decrease the money supply we have to reduce expenditure and social welfare it is very difficult maximum responsibility on rbi increase or decrease money supply maximum responsibility is the rbi rbi has to take the decision minimum responsibility on fiscal policy what is fiscal policy fiscal policy is a macroeconomic tool used by government of india to influence the economic growth of a country this policy allows government to mobilize the financial resources for public expenditure and for developmental programs it deals with the revenue and expenditure of the government next poor convergences of monetary policy and fiscal policy what is monetary policy monetary policy is an component of economic policy through which central bank regulates the money supply in the economy for example government says to rbi india's growth rate uh, potential is 10% for that what to do rbi it has to increase the money supply in the economy monetary policy framework agreement says to rbi inflation inflation rate should be in 4% plus or minus 2% if the inflation crosses the 6% what rbi will do rbi will decrease money supply in order to decrease the money supply rbi will increase repo rate reverse repo rate clr slr open market operations if the money supply decreases what banks will do emis will decrease rate of interest is increase this all of changes will takes place next bias will focus on demand side inflation control next shocks in oil prices monsoon shock exchange rate risk disruption in international economic landscape like trade war regional war and so on this all are comes under challenges for inflation targeting thank you